The U.S. Senate is saying once Thanksgiving is over, their top focus will be to review and vote on Biden's Build Back Better stimulus package bill. Biden's miracle panacea for solving the gas prices falls flat on its face while two other government leaders give great ideas that could actually help you fast. The Pentagon won't confirm or deny aliens or UFO technology, but announced today the creation of a task force to study it full time. All of this and more in today's update. Hello and welcome to today's November 24th daily news report, as well as ongoing stimulus package information video. If you're a subscribed member of my community, then welcome back. I'm so grateful you're here today. You watch this channel because I bring you the truth about what's going on in Washington, D.C., the U.S. economy, the next stimulus package, money, investing, and much, much more. All right, now, before we head into the holiday, don't forget to take 20 seconds to add your name and email to be one of the winners of the giveaway that Casey and I are doing. There's a total of $11,000 we're giving away, thanks to very generous sponsors on this channel. Uh, 24 of you are going to win $250 in cash, and 10 of you are going to win $500 in cash, and you can spend the money however you want. I'm just so excited and grateful to be able to give that money away. All right, now before I jump into today's uh, broadcast, I just want to wish everyone in my community a happy Thanksgiving. Um, I know that we're going through strange times. Some of you are going to have a great Thanksgiving surrounded by family. Uh, others are not going to have so great of a Thanksgiving, and you may be alone. Uh, either way, I just wanted to express to you how grateful I am for each and every one of you and tell you how much I value and appreciate you and, and love having you in my community. So happy, happy Thanksgiving. All right, now they say that ignorance is bliss, but in most cases, I found it to actually be hurtful to not be informed, uh, which is why I put so much effort and research into these videos so that you are kept in the loop on the good, the bad, and the ugly. Now, yesterday I told you how Biden and the Secretary of Energy, Jennifer Granholm, announced that they will tap into 50 million barrels of reserve oil, 32 million for the United States, and 18 million to an undisclosed foreign nation. Well, Biden's energy secretary has been bragging about how this will immediately lower the price of gas. Only there's one problem. She admitted this week in an interview that she has no idea how many barrels of oil Americans use each day. Well, according to the oil industry, Americans use around 20 million barrels of oil a day. So Biden and Granholm's uh, master plan basically injects less than 1.5 days of oil into the U.S. oil market. This means that we likely won't see this incredible drop in prices that we were promised from the White House. Now, I'm hoping with this new info, they will look into some other solutions. For example, maybe all states should follow Florida's example, uh, they are looking to remove the gas tax until prices come down. In the case of Florida, that's about 25 cents a gallon. In the case of Utah, where I live, that's 49 cents a gallon. And in California, it's close to 66 cents a gallon. So would gas coming down by between 25 to 66 cents a gallon for several months, would that be helpful to you and your wallet? Or should we continue to depend on the White House to try to figure it out for us? I'm really hoping that these states wake up and do what's right for the American people. In fact, maybe we all better get on the phone and start sharing this idea because as of right now, it looks like Florida's the only one looking at it. Let, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, you know, I, I was thinking that this gas idea was going to be a, a, a really big thing, but now it's looking like it's really not going to do much and it's just going to take more oil from our emergency funds. But please let, let me know your thoughts. Another solution, which is coming from Republicans, is to start producing our own oil again. Uh, we were energy independence, uh, independent one year ago, so we know it can be done 
if the policy and the focus is on becoming energy independent. And guess who agrees with them? You'll never believe this. Senator Joe Manchin. Manchin mentioned this morning, actually, and he blasted the president and his own party for shutting down the Keystone Pipeline, uh, making tens of thousands of Americans lose their jobs and driving up the price of gas. This is according to Manchin. Manchin is calling on the White House to reinstate the Keystone Pipeline. He said it will look good to add tens of thousands of good paying jobs uh, as we promised. It will look good to bring the price of gas down for every American as we promised. He said that the Keystone Pipeline can move 900,000 barrels of oil a day. Manchin also said his own party is so quick to jump on oil spills every time they happen, but those are in the ocean. He said that transporting oil through an overland pipeline is the safest and most cost-effective way to move oil, not through ships. Manchin also directly called the White House out and said this new Build Back Better stimulus package bill will not lower the cost of gas or food or goods, so stop saying it will. Lowering the price of gas is what will lower the cost of everything else, as well as getting the ports and the transportation situation with the supply and demand uh, crisis we're dealing with right now handled will also lower the price of goods, services, and gas for the American people. So, I mean, Manchin really put the White House on blast, called them out for several things, and then proposed some ideas that he believes will actually help the American wallet. Now, I know some of you will cheer for Senator Manchin and others of you can't stand the guy, uh, but I'm just curious, do you think he's right? Will the Build Back Better bill lower your bills and costs or will lowering gas at the pump be the main thing that lowers your bills and food and gas prices? Let, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, Maybe to make it easy, maybe say uh, BBB, the BBB, Build Back Better Bill, will lower my bills or write lowering the price of gas will lower my bills. That way I can read it uh, easily. I can't always respond to everybody, but I want you to know I read hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of comments every single day and I love hearing from you. Um, so just let, let me know, make it, make it easy for me to see where you guys are at. Uh, I actually personally think lowering gas will do more for the average American than the BBB, uh, but I could be wrong. I know my opinion goes directly against our president and the White House, um, but I just don't see how the Build Back Better bill helps lower your bills. But I can easily see uh, that gas uh, coming down would lower the price of gas, uh, would lower the price of food, would lower the price of goods and services. Uh, but but what do I know? I, I'm just a guy on YouTube, right? By the way, thank you guys so much for giving these videos a like. I really appreciate it, and I love bringing you guys the news. All right, now another national law case for uh, Ahmad Arbery uh, wrapped up today. The jury found all three involved in this case guilty on all counts of murder. Uh, these three men will be spending many, many years in prison for their crime. According to a new study released today, no one is more concerned about the crisis on the southern border than Latins and Hispanics. Most of them entered the country legally and say that the illegal entry is wrong. The study showed this one policy on border security is making more of them lean Republican for the first time in their lives as they see the Republican Party as more interested in protecting them and protecting our border. The Pentagon announced today that they are going to establish a new task force that deeply studies UFOs. They said they won't confirm or deny that they have them, but want a task force to research them fully. What do you think? Does the Pentagon have a UFO or at least enough video footage uh, proof to explore this idea, or is this just a giant distraction tactic? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. All right, a new poll from Politico and Morning Consult 
oh, sorry, I said that with a Spanish accent, Politico, Politico, uh, found that among registered voters, uh, they believe President Biden is personally responsible for inflation and the supply chain mess. The same group of polling participants were asked if Congress was responsible for the state of our country, and 61% of respondents said Congress is to blame for the state of our country. When asked who else might be to blame besides Biden and Congress, 23% said former President Donald Trump, and 63% said large corporations have played a part in hurting the U.S. economy. When asked who should step up and fix the financial issue, 64% uh, of re respondents said the country of China should pay to fix our country. And the rest of the answers were kind of spread over Biden and Congress and large businesses being the one to fix the economy. 77% of those polled said that they daily feel the effects of this higher inflation. The IRS is now publicly saying that if it gets the funding to hire 80,000 more IRS agents, their new focus will be to audit the middle class and lower income families. So I guess the cat's out of the bag with Biden's bill passing in the House of Representatives. The intent of the money uh, going to the IRS was not to hold billionaires accountable, but to spy on the average American citizen and to audit us more. I am so disappointed. I cannot believe this, and I hope it does not pass in the Senate. Billionaire Elon Musk said, I told you so. The IRS already has a division to work with billionaires. This whole thing was so that they could come after you. So... That's according to a billionaire's opinion. President Biden and the White House announced that they may have an ace up their sleeve when it comes to forcing the vaccine on truck drivers and those connected to the supply chain issue. He said maybe this mandate won't win in court, but we could make it illegal to cross from state to state without a vaccine passport, and that would make these truck, truck drivers think twice about losing their job or complying with Biden's edicts. What do you think? Uh, we've got a real supply chain mess going on. Do we need more truckers or less truckers? Would forcing truckers to get vaccinated help or hurt? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. A first edition copy of the United States Constitution sold at auction for $43 million this week. Whew. That's an expensive piece of paper, right? I'm just hoping and praying that it was someone in Congress that purchased it and that they will all actually read it so that they know our rights. All right, now regarding the Build Back Better stimulus package bill, many in the Senate say this will become their top focus starting next week. But I think this week we've seen uh, Senator Manchin is very concerned about the gas situation, inflation, and messaging from the White House that this spending bill will lower the average American's bills. I think all of this is going to impact his vote and what he changes in the next bill. Also, Senator Bernie Sanders has publicly expressed he is horrified with how much uh, benefit goes to the wealthy versus the middle class or lower income people. But what I have found is that Senator Sanders seems to vote with the majority versus holding out for what he publicly announced he believes in. I hope I'm wrong, but I've, I'm pretty good at pattern recognition. All right, now this is my update for today. As I know more, I will definitely come on and share more. Casey and I are trying to help out the best we can. Um, so do make sure to get your name entered to be one of the winners of the $11,000 in cash that we're giving away thanks to amazing sponsors. 24 people are gonna win $250 in cash and 10 of you are going to win $500 in cash. You can spend that money however you want, getting caught up on bills, food on the table, wh whatever you want, right? All right, now have the best Thanksgiving you can. I am very, very thankful for each and every one of you. And before you go, I just wanna remind you that you are amazing. I really, really believe that. That's why I remind you each and every day. Hey, I appreciate you being in my community and I'll see you on the next video.